Good afternoon, Mr. Hine. I'm Detective Webb of the Hamilton Police Department. I just brought you a glass of water if you need to quench your thirst at all. Uh, Mr. Hine, do you know why you're here at all today? Honestly, I have no idea why I'm here today. Well, we have connected you with a murder case. Do you know anything about any murder at all? Never heard of any murders recently. No? When was the last time you seen Jane? A few Jane days Johnson. ago. A few days ago? Yeah. What was your relationship with Jane? We were in a relationship, dating. Dating? Yeah. Did you ever get into any serious fights at all? Or no. Did, did, would it ever lead to violence at all? Anything that ever happened? No, we were pretty good throughout the relationship. <clears throat> did you know that Jane was murdered last night? She was murdered last night? I had no idea, honestly. Well, that's funny, because uh, we have a witness who says she seen you leave the house last night. Around the time Jane was murdered. Well, the last time I left, uh, she was still alive. Are you sure? Because we found a blood-covered knife in the garden in the front of the house. Are you sure? I don't Detective know about any knife. Uh, can I please have a knife? knife? Thank you, Mr. Group. Have you ever seen this knife before? No, I've never seen that knife before. But you see it's covered in blood. This is used to stab Miss Jane. So, you've never seen it before. I've never seen it before. Are you absolutely positive? Absolutely positive. Because that's pretty funny that your initials are in the hilt of the knife. See right there? It's my initials, but it doesn't mean it's my knife. Are you sure? Because that's funny how you're at her house last night and there's a knife there that has your initials on it. It kind of points to you being the murderer here. Why would I kill her, though, if there's nothing wrong between us two? Well, that's what I'm asking you. My name is Brayden Green. I'm with the Hamilton Police Services, Homicide Division. Awesome. Do you have any reason to believe why you're here? Uh, I must have witnessed something really crazy last night while I was drinking. What if I told you there was a murder two days ago, and you're a suspect to this murder? Uh, I wouldn't believe you. Wouldn't believe me. Yeah. Do you know anybody by the name of Stephen Hine? Yeah, I know Stephen Hine. Is he a good friend of yours? I would say so. He was murdered two days ago. Do you have reason to believe that you could possibly have been the murderer? Are you the murderer? I don't know. No? But seriously, I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. What were you doing on... Do you know what you are doing two days ago? Why are you asking this question? Why answer this question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't do nothing to do so. Witness, I, I witness testimony as uh, another reason to believe that your truck was found being seen after gunshots were heard. And when we came to pick you up, my officer noted that the same yellow pickup truck, the one that was found being the scene registered to you, was at your house. In the same windows, things and incidents. Well, I mean, somebody stole my car and put it back. And, uh, I didn't do nothing. I honestly didn't do anything. Okay. Hold on one second. Does this look familiar to you at all? Yeah, that's my gun. That's your gun? Yeah. It was found in the garbage can in the back of his house. Well, it was stolen. It was stolen? Yeah. So, a days ago. Days ago. Yeah. Why did you not report it to the police? I just didn't. I thought it, I thought I lost it, but I lost if it. you found it somewhere else, it must have been stolen. So I didn't bring a gun anywhere near. So your fingerprints are all over that gun. Destroyed. And in the shell casings that were found inside of Stephen Hines' house. I didn't do nothing. Do nothing? No, I didn't do anything. Well, I'll be right back.